That's exactly what is heritage. Well, it's simple. Heritage are those things that we've got that we want to keep. Some people think we should be keeping nature, and that's our natural heritage. Some people think it should be old buildings, old aeroplanes, old cars. And there's a large group of people who think we should also be keeping old ships. One such group is the Queensland Maritime Museum, based in Brisbane. Their flagship is the SS Forceful, a steam-powered tug just over 60 years old. I went on board to see for myself just how an old boat like this works and meet some of the people who run her. The Forceful was built in Glasgow in Scotland and was launched on the 20th of November 1925. She took two and a half months to make the trip under her own power to Brisbane. Quite a remarkable feat when you consider she is just 36 metres long. She took up duty as a working tug, March of 1926. She weighs 288 tonne and can hit a top speed of 13 knots. But keeping a steamboat like the forceful operational is not as easy as it looks. I managed to catch the captain's attention for long enough to find out just what went on behind the scenes. Just what's involved in getting forceful ready to sail? A lot of hard work by a lot of people. Obviously the boilers, number one, each boiler contains 16 and a half tonnes of water. They have to be filled. We keep them dry when the ship is out of action. This is to preserve the boilers. Then they're lit. From coal boilers we light on a Thursday afternoon to go out on the weekend. So it takes a long time. Uh, this is uh, better for the boilers. It stops distortion of the shells. In addition to that, of course, there's the engines. The engineers have to check and double check that everything is OK, everything is clean, everything's ready to go. And then on deck, there's a matter of checking lines, checking life-saving equipment, cleaning the ship, and generally making certain that she's safe and uh, ready to operate. When Forceful was a working tug, she carried a crew of 16. These days, 20 volunteers work flat out to keep her steaming full speed ahead. The furnaces are the real heart of this wonderful little ship. She carries 103 tonnes of coal and burns it up at the rate 10 tonnes a day. She has four furnaces, two per boiler. The burning coal heats the water in the boilers to produce steam, which then powers three pistons which makes the propeller go round, pushing the boat through the water. Simple, you say? But don't forget, way back in 1925, this was still quite complicated technology. One of the cylinders housing the pistons is almost 120 centimetres in diameter. The forceful has crammed some exciting moments into its long life. Her captain explains. The trip itself, from Scotland out to here for a small vessel. And she was nearly lost in the Bay of Biscay in a, a terrific gale where she proved herself a, a seaworthy ship and uh, had lots of troubles. And even the boiler room was partly flooded. Must have been horrific. Glad I wasn't there. But uh, Forceful was at work in Brisbane. She was involved in salvage work at times. They were the dramatic events, but she was an honest worker towing ships in and out, what she was designed for, and she did it very well. That's the highlights of Forceful. He's too modest. Forceful was actually responsible for rescuing a boat called the Rio Clara that had run aground on Scotts Reef near Cairns in September of 1926. And again, in March of 1929, she towed another boat, the Arafura, to safety. Our Forceful is a brave little tugboat. And she also went to war. She joined the Navy in 1942, spending most of her time in Darwin, towing lighters to Dutch New Guinea, as it was then known. Her naval career ended in October of 1943. She retired in 1970 and was handed over to the Maritime Museum the following year. Well, that explains how she works and what she was used for. But what inspires people to give up their spare time to operate a boat like Forceful? Well, for myself, I've been involved in the maritime scene all my life, my father before me, and a lot of us uh, come from the sea. 
But in addition, we have people from every walk of life, doctors, solicitors, electricians, you name it, we've got them, all people with an interest in history and an interest in the maritime scene. We put a lot of our time into it, and we hope to keep forceful going. She's the last of her kind, there'll never be any more forcefuls, and uh, if we can do that, and save her for Brisbane, for Queensland and for Australia, we're very happy to do that. Well, she's magnificent, isn't she? But why bother keeping old ships like the Forceful, or for that matter, anything old? Well, it's simple. You see, ships like this, in working order, give us a direct link back to our history. They give us an understanding of just how past generations of people lived, and they give us an idea of just where we've come from, and they can do the same for future generations of people too.